Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're addressing the parts of the old law which remain valid and grave today, the Ten Commandments. So far, we've talked about the first seven commandments, and now it's time for the eighth. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. We've already looked at what the words of the commandment mean, but can our actions also be a form of false witness? Well, according to the Catechism, the answer is yes. The disciple of Christ consents to live in the truth, that is, in the simplicity of a life in conformity with the Lord's example, abiding in his truth. If we say we have fellowship with him while we walk in darkness, we lie and do not live according to the truth. Catechism of the Catholic Church, paragraph 2470. In other words, even if we tell people the truth, we can still commit dishonest actions and give people a false impression of the kind of lives we're leading. For example, let's say a person is giving lots of money to a charitable organization in such a way that people find out about it. By doing this, he's conveying the impression that he's living a good life because he gives so much to the poor. However, if this charitable organization is also teaching people how to get away with illegal drug smuggling and he knows it, then that impression would be a false one because he's actually an accessory to the sins that this organization commits. Likewise, if people in the organization try to make it look like a benevolent institution while promoting evil, they have lied through their actions and are in violation of the Eighth Commandment. It's often like this when there are crimes being covered up. Someone is trying to protect a guilty party through acting dishonestly and distributing false information, and that shows that we can lie through our actions as well as our words. Another way to be dishonest in your actions is to break a promise that you have no moral obligation to break. For example, if I say I'm going to meet you at 5 at the library, and instead I decide to go to the movies by myself, leaving you waiting for me for a long time, through my actions I've been dishonest and violated the Eighth Commandment. We have an obligation to live our lives in truth, not just by telling the truth with our words, but by being honest and true in our actions as well. Next time, do we have an obligation to be straight with people? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.